Hey everybody, this is uh, Richard Care, Richard Care Reviews. After just finishing all 10 episodes of 13 Reasons Why Season 4. And it is definitely and thankfully their final season. Um, for those who saw my uh, React uh, card 2, um, I'm going to air out some grievances and stuff I might have missed uh, theory wise. Uh, starting off uh, with Gary Sinise. Uh, I thought he was going to bookend um, the, the season. Um, turns out that's not the case. He was a very dedicated character uh, for Clay's mental health <laughs> that I definitely alluded to and buried. And uh, apologies if my room looks a little cloudy or, um, I guess, weird on a fog kind of scale. So let me see if I could get some light uh, to balance this out. Uh, now I look like, like I'm in a cop drama. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna miss everybody's names cast wise. So, like I said in the uh, React uh, cast IMDb, IMDb down below. Uh, starting off with the first couple episodes was uh, mainly hyper focused on uh, a lot of ghost characters uh, that Clay, uh, Jess, and I think Alex saw for one episode. Uh, it was mainly everything that happened in the fallout of uh, Alex killing Bryce. Uh, like I also said in my React, there will be spoilers of just my experience with the series, my history with the show. Um, I didn't really think much of season one. I thought it said what it needed to say. It adapted J. Escher's book just fine. But Brian Yarkey really wanted to make more content than it kind of showed. Um, it also kind of showed that J. Escher wanted this to be a one-and-done book and not a series. Um, again, that's a lot of stuff that people who have way more, um, uh, dedicated to falling trash like this, uh, have probably said in their video essays. Um, I don't know the guy's full name, but Tyler, uh, did a great breakdown of, uh, season three. And, yeah, um, for four, it focused finally on Clay trying to move on after not just Hannah, not just the trial from season two, but even the fallout from, um, season two three just basically all the crazy shit he's seen finally just said no you're gonna snap you're going to snap and the most obvious cartoonish way this show still did sorry to still say um for dylan uh the guy that plays him he brought his signature uh i can't do it thankfully but you know stern faces in my face it looks comical in his it's uh kind of weird um another thing i i want to air out grievances to is dylan himself my bad for mispronouncing anything um you you look like you are still a pretty cool person outside of the outside of the character i think he has a band i don't remember um hopefully i could get a card to his band um being cool with a couple of kids on when they were doing live shows um they sound cool i could be wrong uh, link to the bands, um, if they have an official YouTube channel down below, if you guys, if you want to support them now, after the show. Um, the guy I liked, other than, um, Clay, uh, was, uh, Ross Butler's, uh, Zach Dempsey. I honestly believed for, like, the last three seasons, he was the voice of reason. And this season, the show still ended up like they normally do, uh, retcon a character, or I guess character assassinate in this case. Becoming, uh, just a straight-up, uh, loose allegory for alcoholism. Yeah, um, the one I'm not gonna talk any old crap about is, uh, the guy that played, uh, Zach. Not Zach, uh, Justin. I totally, again, like I said, I'm gonna forget a lot of names here, so cast down below. He crushed it. <laughs> um, on the beginning of season four's first episodes, like, he recovered, he basically is going to, like, I guess, heroin, ad 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 going to attic meetings, found out that one of his coaches is in the same kind of camp, and was kind of helping him out going to college, and the theme for the show is not only finale, but mostly closure in the best way possible. Also, I guess this is the deep V I've been promising since that uh, DC review, I guess you're gonna get it here. Um... There's a lot of episodes on the back half of the season that actually, for once, saved the series. And it's thanks to Gary Sinise, of all people. Um, I looked up the IMDb two weeks before the show dropped. Um, I think you could tell um, in my react that I was surprised. And um, I was really hoping I could do like her traditional um, like 
normal cold cold opening with just me referencing stuff from uh, uh, Ransom or maybe Forrest Gump, but uh, nah, Gary crushed it. Uh, Gary actually crushed it for once, being a really good therapist. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up because my phone's probably gonna die out. Um, the first half of the series season is basically the fallout and the standard crazy drama you see. Uh, but by the time they get to prom, um, the show finally stopped acting like whatever the hell this was the last three and a half years and just acted like an actual drama would be in this kind of situation when, um, spoilers, by the way, uh, Justin, uh, dies. Um, it's not crazy. It's, it's very fitting. I won't say much. Um, I will also loosely spoil the final episode, which is their graduation and, uh, for Allison Bone, who plays Jess, uh, she basically crushed it with all her speeches as per usual. So much so, uh, there is gonna be another, uh, school fight that ends up becoming a riot, and I feel like that's the one that's gonna be cringe and dated due to what's currently going on outside. No shit. But, um, it's okay. Uh, the character I wanted to show up just a little bit for Tyler's episodes, uh, was Cyrus. Guy was pretty much MIA to, like, I guess the second to last episodes of the season. Uh, another character I didn't think would actually show up would be, I think, Alex's brother, Peter, who showed up for, like, one or two scenes in, like, I want to say seasons one and two and was no-show from there on, out, there on out. Um, everyone's parents and characters you probably missed out if you were watching one season other than the other. Uh, I think Courtney it was MIA throughout, uh, season three because I think she graduated and didn't really give a shit about being student body president. I think why am I said it best? She was just in it for college. She was looking for college applications, a long story. Anyway, um, that was a crappy subplot, by the way. Um, I forgot Courtney's actress's name, but you showed up, you did great for very little, but it's understandable. You have other projects, you moved on. I get it. Uh, Kate Walston show, uh, to do her, I think, now work person cameo to remember, hey, remember Hannah? Remember Hannah? And I thought that would have been it. Like, she showed, I think on the final episode, the tapes were back um, as a solid reminder of the series. Um, I am going to spoil the tapes because they do bury it. Won't say where. You'll probably know when you see it. Um, what else? Brenda Song uh, was the actress who played, I think, Bryce's mom in season three. I remember her best in um, Super... I keep I keep confusing this as I was kid. It was either Super Troopers or Starship Troopers. It's Starship Troopers. By the way, also on Netflix, and I might do a retro review because this show actually saved itself. Barely, mind you. Keep in mind, barely. Um, yeah, she actually directed an episode. I'm probably gonna go for the end of the year countdown and probably look up any actors who may have actually directed an episode. I wouldn't mind if Dylan did one because he was the main character of the show and it showed. And I guess in context for this generation, I guess Clay was supposed to be, like, either an average Joe kind of kid or Bueller. Um, for those who don't know, I really love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Um, he's only relatable relatable because everybody likes the guy. He's just a cool dude to be with. He doesn't screw up sometimes. And in case everyone's also been bitching about the negatives of the show, he loves covering up shit. And um, so much so, he's covering up his own problems. Uh, yeah, getting leading into his mental health. Uh, apparently... Uh, the show really didn't want to tackle his whole need to have ghost characters as a mental disorder, which it is. In some cases, I haven't looked it up. I'm not a doctor or a therapist, as you can tell. But they kind of doubled down and said, yeah, we're going to give you anxiety. We're going to give you depression, which is okay of a sentiment. They have to have strong episodes for that. I understand. And they're going to have ghost characters. And then we're not going to use ghost characters throughout season three. And then we're going to question... Just if you want to date in general to... Oh, wait, now you have a uh, multiple personality disorder. Kind of like in... Never thought I'd say this to compare to 13 Reasons Why, by the way. Um, Fight Club? Uh, yeah, basically Clay did everything. He he spray-painted the, the Monty stuff and all that. Uh, and other crazier stuff, uh, especially I think, what was it, episodes 5 or 6, where they had a drill. Um, less said, the better. And unfortunately, it's... A great allegory episode, but then ended up becoming a bottle episode. You'll know it when you see it, believe me. Uh, the cops kind of were working on making a new investigation on not just Clay, but everyone related to uh, the guns that got found in uh, the end of season three. 
turns out, um, and this is a subplot they buried way early on, just to let you know, uh, Tyler confessed that, he, that it was his stuff, and he wanted to help, uh, get the guns off the street. Um, it goes, be- it goes wrong, I won't spoil that, it's kind of funny. Uh, what isn't kind of funny, the, fo- the following episode after that, I think, might have been seven, I could be wrong, um, Clay just has a fantasy of being in a YA sci-fi show that he probably wrote. Um, yeah, it wasn't really implied of, like, what stuff they, what, like, franchises these kids love, uh, other than the posters on the walls. I think Justin was a huge Fast and Furious guy, so, you're in the family. Just saying, uh, to Justin's actor, I hope you get in Fast 10 or Fast 9 at this point. That'd be pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Um, yeah, and shopping for, uh, uh other character uh, actors that want to do work. Uh, Dylan, I don't know, should probably be in a DC show. I don't know who. I, I don't know. Uh, Monty, though, is a shoe in for Red Hood, if they do a CW version of Red Hood. Um, unless, uh, they want to still go with, uh, the guy from Titans, which I actually think he's okay. The, the I guess the PTT episode he was trying to have in Season 2 of Titans was a little forced, just saying, um, uh, apparently my phone is a little more forgiving, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, my rating, uh, for season one is a 10 out of 10, because it said what you needed to say, and it was the least offensive out of them all. Uh, season two gets a four, mainly how crazy it goes, um... Three gets a five, mainly because all of the setup for season four paid off in probably a really good way. I never thought I'd say that. Uh, unfortunately for ten, uh, I'm going to have to give it a six. Mainly because it still has to handle a lot of the baggage from past seasons. Um, but the final three episodes actually saved the series. I am not kidding. When they get to the prom, prom to graduation episodes... You can legit see that they are really choked up doing their final scenes and stuff. Um, the, I and, and to be to be honest, I'm pretty sure someone's gonna find some clerical error or uh, editing mistakes or just how everyone was stunted back then when they were making this season. I think maybe a year or so ago because this they graduated in 2019 in character long before COVID started. So that's it. That's all I can say for uh, 13 Reasons Why. Sorry for the burp. Um, I'm going through a lot of moods. I went from coming in to finally get what I wanted to say about the show once and for all to actually be positive. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's one of those reasons why. Uh, to ironically tie it to the show's main through line. Um, yeah, where is it sounds? Season four is not that crazy. Um, if you are feeling these things, uh, the last two seasons are not for you. The, if you do need help, please go to professionals. Um, that being said, uh, me being confused as usual for a show like this, uh, hand here for my retro review of Daredevil 2003. Other hand here to, um, see my response to everything that's going on with Richard Z during Black Lives Matter. The DV here, <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, for the, the sub to my channel, uh, notification bell down below if you want to see me tackle more uh, subjects like this. If not, I understand. Um, if anything, if I see more hot mess shows like this, um, I'll probably leave it as a retro editorial. Just my thoughts in general for the show. Um, that all being said, uh, take care, subscribe, and uh, for my next review, I'm gonna just do Star Girl because it looks way more hopeful than the show ever tried to be, even in the end. So, um, to the cast themselves, I thank you for all the weird shit you had to put up with. Uh, I hope you all become really cool friends after the fact, and, um, yeah, uh, for once, you didn't make a lot of weird faces, Dylan. You did a good job, Clay. For real. And, um, if you can survive this show, you can definitely survive high school. Living proof. Clay's words, not mine.